A ring night ravaging where the Celtics destroyed the New York Knicks and raised banner number 18 saw the C's tie the NBA record for three-pointers made. Jason Tatum led the charge with 37 points and 10 assists on 14 for 18 field goals made, becoming the first Celtic of all time to score at least 35 points on 75 plus percent shooting from the field. Derek White dropped 24 points on 86 percent true shooting, becoming one of eight players next to Tatum ever to post at least that stat total while draining six plus threes in a season opener. Even though the Celtics tied the NBA record for threes made in a game, they did it with 850 left and then proceeded to miss 13 in a row. Therefore, despite leading by nearly 30 against the top contender, Boston was booed on their home floor. Realistically, the TD Garden crowd was just a bit let down they couldn't witness an all-time record being snapped, but the Celtics draining 29 threes and in turn tying the Milwaukee Bucks for the most triples made in a game ever and setting the NBA record for the most triples on an opening night legitimately wasn't enough for haters online. This tweet with 12k likes from Mike Vigil reads, We can't let this Celtics-style offense be the future of the NBA. The volume's Jason Timp responded to that post by saying, Yeah, the NBA is in dangerous territory with this as a television product. It's funny because everyone was just talking about how the Knicks had the best starting five in the NBA, and now when the Celtics destroy them without their starting center, mind you, it's suddenly a massive issue. It seems like the summer of disrespect is about to become the season of disrespect. Nonetheless, Boston's opening night destruction deserves its attention, as on a night where they officially put up the most banners of all time, they sent a message to the rest of the league about how hungry they are to repeat. Speaking of messages, here was Jace him Tate him before having a performance where he looked like the best player in the world. Let's do it again. Jason proceeded to sauce up the Knicks defense by going off to knock down five off the dribble three pointers in the first half alone. He recorded all of his 37 and 10 stat total in just three quarters. The relentless conviction Tatum was unleashing jumpers with was alarming as his quicker new release has a chance to turn him into a top MVP candidate. It was a performance that we can get used to from JT as the man looks to exact revenge for being benched at the Olympics. During the time when Steve Kerr kept Tatum at the end of the bench and used him sparingly at most, Jalen Brown, who was of course snubbed from the Olympic team entirely, texted Tatum, I'm mad for you. Leading the NBA in points, assists, field goals, and threes made after the season opener, it's clear Jason was mad for himself, but it's great to hear that his star running mate had his back like that. Fortunately for Celtic fans, and unfortunately for haters like the ones mentioned in the intro, just like the Celtics aren't going anywhere as a team, Jason Tatum isn't going anywhere in terms of where he'll be playing for the rest of his career. Tatum said in an interview with Mark Spears, The relationships I've built over the last 7-8 years, I can't imagine starting over and leaving them or this place. With Celtic legends Bob Cousy, Cedric Maxwell, Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, and Ray Allen pulling up to the ring ceremony, this clearly inspired the current C's to take care of business. Al Horford said post-game, When I saw Cousy, Cedric Maxwell, and then KG, Paul, and Ray, man, these are legends. There's a responsibility. There's the Celtics' legacy. Tatum said regarding that, In 2008, I watched Ray and Paul and KG. It's a full circle moment for them to come back and pass the torch. KG was screaming in my ear. A day before, Peyton Pritchard detailed he and the team's hunger to go back to back, saying, A lot of people can do it once. I know a championship is hard. Winning it multiple times and creating almost like a dynasty, that's something we're trying to achieve. When it comes to the pressure the Celtics will face in order to repeat, Joe Mazzulla said, We're all going to be dead soon, and it really doesn't matter anymore, so there's zero pressure. It's not pressure, it's an opportunity. Concerning the pressure specifically from the media, the quote master and growing Celtic legend Joe said, They don't have a weapon. They're not going to come after me. They're just saying words. We're either going to win or we're not. 40 years from now, none of you are invited to my funeral, and that's it. With zero pressure on them, the Celtics made 29 of their first 48 three-point attempts, good enough for 60%. The entirety of the starting five in White, Holiday, Brown, Tatum, and Horford made at least three triples. Tatum and White's 14 triples combined were three more than the New York Knicks as a team. While Josh Hart's teammate Mikael Bridges struggled with his new shooting release unlike Tatum, as Mikael would make just two of his seven shots from distance, Josh would say regarding the Celtics shooting as a team, the NBA needs 
chance to drug test them dudes. I ain't ever seen anything like that. Considering Boston had a chance to shatter the NBA record given they tied Milwaukee with nearly 9 minutes remaining, that was spot on analysis from Hart. We've never seen anything like what we saw from the Celtics on ring night and we're bound to see a lot more of it from this all time powerhouse of an offense as this season progresses. This was your boy D-Flow and I'll see you next video.